It's Monday, September 30th. I'm Lucy Steiner. And I'm Sam Cedar. Which of these stories will you be talking about today? Trump quotes megachurch pastor on Fox News who warned of civil war if the president is impeached. Meanwhile, a new study warns that big banks are offloading risky mortgages onto taxpayers as the climate crisis threatens to put many homes literally underwater. And lastly, a federal judge blocks a Trump administration regulation that would keep migrant families detained for lengthy periods of time. You are listening to Majority FM's AM Quickie, and these are the stories you need to know. President Trump drew condemnation Sunday after he reposted a quote from Texas megachurch pastor Robert Jeffries, who predicted a, quote, civil war-like fracture in this nation from which our country will never heal over the impeachment inquiry opened by House Democrats last week. That's an interesting comment to co-sign on your own legacy. I'm like a festering wound. You'll never heal from this. Along with quoting Jeffrey's remarks, Trump has belittled the whistleblower at the center of the impeachment inquiry, questioning their patriotism and trying to breach their anonymity. Lawyers representing the whistleblower warned in a letter over the weekend that Trump has put the safety of their client at risk by describing the anonymous individual as a traitor and issuing open threats of retaliation. New research from the New York Times suggests banks are shifting mortgages made riskier by the climate emergency over to financial institutions backed by U.S. taxpayers. Findings that, quote, echo the subprime lending crisis of 2008 when unexpected drops in home values cascaded through the economy and triggered recession. Researchers analyzed how lenders have handled mortgages in U.S. regions hit by destructive hurricanes between 2004 and 2012 and found that after those hurricanes, lenders increased by almost 10 percent the share of those mortgages that they sold to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, government-sponsored enterprises whose debts are backed by taxpayers. As extreme weather worsens, the growing number of homeowners impacted by natural disasters could default on their mortgages, which according to the new paper, banks will sell to Fannie and Freddie and lead to a financial crisis that will be felt across the country, perhaps the world. A Majority.fm's AM Quickie is fueled by JustCoffee.coop. Just Coffee is a worker-owned coffee roaster based in Madison, Wisconsin, that has sponsored the Majority Report for nearly a decade. Check out their collection of fair trade roasts, including our own Majority Report blend. And regardless of what you order, receive 10% off of your order when you use the code MAJORITY at checkout. All shipping, of course, is free. That's coupon code MAJORITY at JustCoffee.coop. A federal judge blocked a Trump administration regulation on Friday that would allow families to be detained for lengthy periods of time. U.S. District Judge Dolly G. ruled that the regulation violates the terms of the Flores Settlement Agreement, which currently governs the standards for the detention of migrant children. Under the terms of the agreement and subsequent court rulings, children cannot be detained with their parents for longer than 20 days. While the ruling could hinder Trump administration efforts to step up enforcement against and terrorize migrant families, DHS continues to implement a range of actions to discourage traffic to the southwest border. And now for what we're talking about today. Some quicker quickies. Quicker quickie. A new CBS News poll shows a majority of Americans and a supermajority of Democrats support an impeachment inquiry into Donald Trump. The poll shows 55% of respondents approve of the impeachment inquiry. The poll shows 55% of respondents approve of the impeachment inquiry, while 45% disapprove. The New York Times reports that Joe Biden's presidential campaign has sharply scaled back his online advertising, cutting spending so severely since August that he is now investing only a fraction of what his top rivals are on Facebook and Google. From Politico, a federal judge has blocked the Trump administration's effort to fast-track undocumented immigrants for deportation without the involvement of immigration courts. And the AP reports that UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is denying a journalist's claim that Johnson grabbed her thigh at a private lunch two decades ago. Johnson is also under scrutiny for claims that an American businesswoman, Jennifer R. Curie, received money and perks from London coffers while Johnson was mayor of the British capital. Quicker! Quickie! That's it, folks. Thanks for listening to the Majority.fm's AM Quickie. Sam? Hey, thank you, Lucy. Don't forget to check out the Majority Report today at noon or later wherever your podcasts are found.